So, welcome to another video. Uh, this video is about uh, KD Plasma and how to build it via source on your system. I have a Debian system here running, or Debian stable based system running, called Neptune. You can open up Kinfo Center, if you can type it correctly. You can see Neptune 6, it is based on Debian stable, but you can see here, what do I have here? KD Plasma version 5.18.3, KD Frameworks 5.69, Qt version 5.13.2. This is not a Debian stable that I know. No, it isn't, because I compiled it myself. One thing people could say is, hey, you're crazy, that takes ages to do so. No, it doesn't. There's a nice little tool called KD Source Build, which allows me to do this, and pretty easy. I just have to run basically one command, and it does this all for me. So I want to show you right now how to do it. First of all, I go to my downloads directory, I'm going to open my terminal, downloads, work, KD source, build. You have to download KD source build, obviously, from a website. So let's go here, let's search for KD source, build, and there is the website, KD source build dot KD dot org, and it gives you the command to clone the directory and this is what I did and then also some other things on how to install the latest and greatest KDE Plasma desktop. So what I did here is first of all I you have to have dialog installed so on my system I had to install sudo update install dialog because I want to set up KDE source build and to do so I just execute uh, the KDE source build setup program which will guide me through the first steps. So what do we have to do here? We don't want a tutorial, we go no. And we want to set up where to install the software because I don't want to overwrite my normal KDE Plasma installation here. I just want to have it in a different directory where I can just test it. So I just set up a different location here and what I have here is I installed in Plasma 5, opt Plasma 5. I don't want it in my home directory. And where do I want to have the source code uh, saved? So it will download via git the source code and build it somewhere. Home is okay for me. Same uh, goes for the build files. So not the installation itself, but when the files are built. Also home directory is okay for me. And then I have different sections here of what to build. As KD Plasma 5.18, for example, what I have running here requires Qt 5.12 at least, I think. I want to have Qt built here as well. So I check Qt 5 to build. Same goes for frameworks. Of course, I want frameworks, otherwise I can not build Plasma, which is workspaces here in this case. And I have some base packages as well. And if I want to have PIM as well, I can check PIM. But beware, if you check PIM, PIM I think it will also in Qt 5 build the Qt web engine, which is like horrible, horrible. <laughs> uh, in terms of build times, so it takes a long, long time. Qt Web Engine, you really don't want to build Qt Web Engine, do you? So this is what I choose. Click OK. Then how many CPUs I want to use for compiling? Um, it detected automatically that I have four CPUs, but I have hyper threading, so I can use, in theory, eight threads. But I only want to use six threads because I want to still use my laptop if I'm building. So this and then it detected in this case i already have a kde source build configuration file i can override it i can back up it i will cancel out here because i don't want to change uh, my configuration the only thing that i need to do now is just simply run the kde source build uh, command with the stuff that i want to build so i want to have qt5 i want to have frameworks and i want to have workspace and the only thing i have to do is now run enter it will grab automatically everything that i need for building it will grab the source and it will start building then in this case qt5 and the rest and i'll just terminate it here but in general this is what you need to do to get the newest and greatest plasma but this will get you the yeah latest and greatest master branch of plasma workspace in this case or the plasma desktop this is not necessarily what I want. So I wanted the stable version. So what I did is just simply say, okay, build everything from master. So Qt5 and frameworks from master. And after this, I can just simply give it a branch name. So what I did is, uh, here it is, uh, KD source build workspace, which is the name for 
everything KDE Plasma workspaces. And I said I want to have a branch, in this case Plasma 5.18 as branch, because it's the latest and greatest stable version of Plasma. It would be like 5.18 free right now, but if 5.18.4 will come out, it will be 5.18.4 and so on. And then I give it a resume from uh, from command because I don't want it to go through Qt5 because by default it tries also to grab all the uh, dependencies as well and build them as well. But I don't want uh, frameworks and Qt5 to be built because it's searching then for the Plasma 5.18 branch, which I don't have in those uh, Qt5 or in um, frameworks. So I want to resume from a specific package. In this case, it is libkcsyscard. This is, I think, the earliest package. And to view a list, you can have the list built. Uh, so if I want to build it just from this, I just have this. If I just want to list my builds, I can say list builds and it will give me, it will, what did I do wrong? List build, of course. And it will give me a list of uh, packages to build from the 5.18 branch. And this starts with the case syscard and then goes down. And I think this is everything that should be built. Otherwise you can check, of course, if something is missing, it will give you an error message anyway um, with a nice log file and usually CMake error messages are pretty, pretty good, understandable. So just like missing package XYZ. So what you have to do is just simply uh, XYZ is missing. Okay, okay, notify, notify, notify config or something is missing. So I will just simply uh, say okay, not notify config or something, notify conf config we'll write it here and write it there remove maybe the the plasma 518 branch depending if it's a kd framework stuff or not but in general you can just take a look at this list and compare it with the list um, in the downloads source file of kde so let's go back 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 kde.org you see announcement for a new kde version you read the full read the full announcement click on source info page and then you get a list of all what is included what is part of plasma and you just simply compare this with the list that the uh, resume from uh, the list build um, tells you and usually this is the only thing that you need to get plasma running of course, what I want to have as well is the latest and greatest um, in terms of uh, console and uh, Dolphin. Uh, and uh, you also want to have KD Connect maybe, KD Connect KDE, this is the right one. Uh, the Quake you want to have um, Plasma Vault, Plasma PA maybe, but it should be, I think, Plasma PA, Plasma NM, and I think Plasma Vault, yeah, are already in the list, so I don't need this. Uh, some other applications, uh, Kate, for example, uh, you want to maybe have in the newest version. And this is important sometimes, especially Dolphin and, and, and some others, because they will be compiled against the newer Qt ver 5 version that you have. Otherwise, it might have some conflicts so especially KDE applications need to be compiled against a newer Qt5 version. Other applications that I have installed, just like for example VLC, I can just simply execute VLC. It is built against um, Debian stables or Neptune uh, um, Qt5.11, I think, and it still works fine. And the same goes for other applications, just like Retext, for example, nice uh, markdown editor that I use also without any issue here uh, running. Uh, of course, Discover is something is disco uh, discovers in the list so discover is also in the list um, but you can uh, system settings i think is also in the list um should be also in the list i think and yeah k info center and other stuff uh, should be also in the list and this is how i basically build my uh, latest and stable version of KD Plasma on top of my Debian based uh, Neptune 6 uh, installation and I did this not only for checking out the latest and greatest but also to run the Wayland session because this is sadly not the Wayland session because I cannot record anything on the Wayland session uh, via screencasting software um, but the Wayland session is so butterly smooth this is unreal on my Intel based machine here and uh, yeah, this is really, really great. And uh, you can see this effects here, even on X11 are pretty great and, and smooth, but the Wayland session is butterly smooth. And I really like to run the Wayland session and the latest and greatest uh, Plasma stable version, which runs pretty damn good. And uh, all the applications are working. Uh, you saw that I didn't uh, execute KDPIM. I can 
just launch KDE PIM from here and it will work with the old version. I just close it right now so I don't show you any of my, my emails, but it's just running fine from the uh, version that Debian provides um, pretty much and then all with the Arcan old Arcanagi version and so on. So this is still working. What I would recommend you to do is so, because there's some configuration conflicts sometimes, so like uh, the normal version that Debian ships is like 5.14.5, and for example, KRunner and some hotkeys were not working on uh, this uh, newer version or vice versa if I, because I still have the option to just boot or log in to the old version. How do I do this? So I have uh, a script, but it's any script, where is it? That will be here uh, in my KDE build directory plus my workspaces, login sessions. It has a install sessions sh script and what this will do is just simply add another desktop file for your login manager so you have a plasma dev session two in this case like plasma dev x11 and plasma dev wayland sessions and i can show you this as well let me go to my folder here open up a new user share x sessions and there you have plasma x11 dev desktop you can open it up with your favorite text editor what i had to do here is create a new def uh, new sh file because the default one and then this is a small little tip not sure if it's a debian specific thing or an old sddm thing sdm was refusing to to boot into the x11 uh, plasma def but i create a new 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 sh file and if you just simply take a look at this sh file you can see this command this was previously written in this desktop file directly sdm was like complaining not be able to start this so i put it in another in another sh file and and make it executable and now it is running pretty fine as you can see the session is running here and uh, yeah um when it comes to valiant session there's no problem i usually like to run the valiant session really so uh, let's go to Wayland sessions. You can see there's also Plasma Wayland uh, Dev. So maybe I can show you a screenshot or something like this. But in generally, you can just simply in the session choose a SDDM, for example. You can just simply choose the Plasma Wayland Dev um, as session and then log in normally, and it will log into the uh, newer Plasma that w was built with KDE source built, KDE source built. Um, yeah this is basically it uh, what i would recommend you to do because like of the configuration conflicts sometimes maybe for running the dev versions of plasma wayland dev or plasma uh, x11 dev create a new user for this so you start fresh with new configurations and have less problems sometimes even the session restore will try to restore all programs which are not compatible so power devil for example power management uh, had to uh, kill and then rerun the correct version so it had the correct version and the session restore uh, so you avoid all these problems by creating just simply a new user and uh, then run the dev sessions only from this user but if i want to go back to the debian stable kde plasma version all i have to do is just in the login manager choose okay i want to start the normal plasma and it will then log in uh, the normal plasma and i have a 514 5, yeah uh, then running again with the old cute version and so on so no issues there i find it pretty easy and it's really not hard to use especially if you compiled anything uh, this KDE source build tool is really, really great, it's especially if you can also try out new applications like uh, Dolphin in a new version. And I pretty much like this, uh, that you can just type in something here and it will try to uh, show you. Yeah, I can just tap through the stuff. So this is uh, Dolphin version, uh, you can see here, development version, I think uh, 200770, so what will come 2008. And yeah, you can experience the new cool features, report bugs, help the KDE team out by testing out the newer Plasma versions and new applications and so on. And even get patches going or patch your own stuff if you want to. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty handy tool, KDE source build. And also for testing out newer Plasma versions on older distributions, just like here, Debian Stable, Neptune 6. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you have questions, just write them in the comments section. And uh, thanks for watching. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy.